What's up guys, this is my new place, that's why there's like one thing on the wall. But anyways, I went downtown dressed as a T-Rex, because what better way is there to spend a Thursday night? And I basically did it because I wanted to do push-ups and get reactions. And that happened a couple times, but that's mostly not what happened at all. So I want to take you through the night in order to show you exactly what actually happened and what went wrong. So like I said, I was trying to do push-ups and within like 30 seconds of being there, multiple groups saw me, wanted to take pictures with me, and I couldn't say no, so pictures happened. Then I figured I'd try the push-up thing with one of the groups. The audio turned out really poor, but basically what happened is I asked them what they knew about T-Rexes and they said they have really short arms, which is what I wanted them to say. And I asked them how this might restrict them with fitness. Then they started demonstrating push-ups with short arms, which was perfect. And then this dude walks behind me and I'm not kidding, he literally punches me in the back. You can see him walk right by. So yeah. Then push-ups happen, which is cool, I guess, but not the most exciting. Then immediately after, another group wanted to get a picture, so I did that too. Use your phone. Is Patrick. Is that's that is the guy Patrick. 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 Use your phone. <laughs> this is Patrick. Then I got into the light and tried to fill my intro. Tried. I'm just gonna let you watch and see how impossible this was. What's up, guys? Photobomb. Photobomb. <laughs> Photobombed within two seconds. And then this dude who strangely resembles Lex Luthor in a Red Sox jersey just walks right into me. And so, yeah, the intro just didn't even happen. Then in the middle of taking a picture with another group, the cops showed up. The cops didn't show up because of me. If you've ever been to 6th Street, you know that the cops just travel by horse and so they'll routinely walk by. And I was like, you know, this could be funny. I'll just get a shot next to the horses while I'm wearing my T-Rex costume. Uh-oh. T-Rex and horses. Yeah, right definitely here. don't horse. Yeah, shout out to that girl for saying exactly what I was thinking. Then this happened. <laughs> Apparently my costume and theatrics totally spooked the horses and so they got really apprehensive. I realized this pretty quickly, but then this random dude on the street decides to start pushing me into the horses so I keep scaring them unintentionally. Uh, eventually I was able to get away, but it was too late. My cameraman stopped filming, but basically what happened immediately after this is two cops came up to me and they said that if I did anything like that again, I'd be going to the police station in a T-Rex costume and in handcuffs. Can we just take a second and realize how hysterical that would look? I mean, I didn't want that, but still. The police officer said that if I saw the horses approaching me again to just walk the other way. I'm not trying to go to jail or anything, so I apologized, thanked the officer, and walked the other way. Lots of people watched this whole thing go down, so of course they wanted pictures afterwards. That is so real. I'm trying to tell <laughs> Are you filming for his YouTube channel? I am, yeah. Did you, did you, you see don't want to be in it? Okay. Yeah, I did. I got that off. You need to be more cognizant. Three, two, one. Oh, I'm not taking a picture. Oh. Yeah, lovely, yeah. Then I tried doing another push-up bit with these guys. Uh, what do you guys know about T-Rexes? They have short arms. They have short arms, is that what you think of too? Yeah. So, okay, so let's say a T-Rex wanted to get thick. Would that be possible with short arms? Legs! It's all about the legs! Yeah, and you can see the cops walking in the background, they're like, I hate this guy. Like, they're either waiting for something to go down, or they're just like, straight up judging me for my choice of outfit that night. Yeah, maybe, maybe some diamonds, diamonds, diamonds push-ups. Ike, let me try it. Let me try and get fit. Let's see if I can do this works. Yeah. Yeah. Ryan, do some push-ups. Am I getting fit? He's good. He's good. Yeah. It's getting fit. Then I do the push-ups. But once I come up, look at the cops. Like, these guys see a lot of stuff go down on the daily on 6th Street. But never have they seen a T-Rex do push-ups on the street. Like, that is a solid mm -hmm. Thursday night. Like, they can go home right now and be fine. And then, after all that, I got tipped by a random lady on the street because I guess T-Rex has got to make a living too. Now, you can't quite see this in the frame, but in this moment, the horses started walking back towards me, so I started walking the other way as I was told to. 
and I kid you not, I can't make this up, but an officer started running toward me and they were like, wait, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Since you're gonna be around, we gotta make the horses okay with you because right now, you're taller than the horses, so they think you're trying to eat them. <laughs> so, they literally had me start petting the police horses so that I became a friend to them. Like, this is one of those moments in my life when I wish I could have been on the outside looking in. Because there it was, like, I'm a T-Rex in the middle of the street, petting, feeding horses. Like, that just doesn't happen. It's probably never happened before in the world in life. When I initially scared the horses, it felt really bad. But this moment totally made up for it because, like, the cops were laughing and smiling and the people outside the frame were taking pictures of it. Literally, the police officers were, like, having a great time taking videos of, like, this whole thing going down. It was awesome. Wasn't at all what I expected, but probably better than what I'd planned. Lots of people watched this whole thing go down, so more people wanted pictures. I don't know if you can tell what's happening, but this girl is literally trying to kiss me through the T-Rex costume. Like, I don't think you realize, like, you can't see who I am. This girl doesn't know me and she's still trying to kiss me. That's the kind of stuff that goes down on 6th Street. And then there was this girl who I guess just really needed some love because she hugged me, which is fine, but then she just kind of kept hugging me for like 20 seconds. And finally, there's this guy. Now, this guy is the man. This guy straight up wanted to have a push-up contest with me while I was in the T-Rex costume, which is pretty much what I wanted to happen the whole time. And then there's his buddy, who's also the man. I would say, grab the little arm extenders that you can squeeze and have the little chompers at the end. And they can grab everything and they're unstoppable. All right, all right. Unstoppable. Like Probably the hype man in this situation offered me 20 bucks if I could beat his friend while in the T-Rex costume. Hey, if you can out push up him, I'll give you 20 bucks. And I was like, heck yeah, that's what I want to do tonight. So we do the push-up contest. And eventually I beat the dude, but I didn't get any money for it. So I guess his friend is a liar as well, but it's fine. It was still fun. But yeah, that's what went down on 6th Street dressed up as a T-Rex. Like I said, it wasn't at all what I was expecting, but it probably turned out better than anything I could have planned anyways, and that's the beauty of filming random YouTube videos on the street. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I put out more videos like this, other fitness pranks, and other fitness videos all the time. So, be on the lookout for those, and otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Fwah.